Jackie Robinson stands as the single most important figure in integrating professional sports. His success opened doors that had been locked to black athletes for over a century. All the myths that went along with it crumbled. Many people thought that if blacks were ever to play Major League Baseball, it would be as an all-black team. No one believed an individual would be able to force integration upon America's pastime. Branch Rickey, the president of the Brooklyn Dodgers, felt it was time to bring a black player to the major league. Rickey's search turned up Jackie Robinson, a track and football star at UCLA that had played against and with white players across the country. Jackie's play in the Negro Baseball Leagues quieted any doubts as to his abilities to play. Jackie, if you remember, was one of the greatest all-around athletes this country's ever produced. He was all-American football, basketball. Uh, he could outrun his brother Mac in track and, of course, play baseball. The champion's older brother, Olympic runner Mac Robinson, remembers. He had established himself as an outstanding athlete by being the first individual to score four letters at UCLA has never been done before. And that was in baseball, basketball, football, and track. And then he went into the service, and he was a second lieutenant. And when he came out, he started playing ball with the Kansas City Monarchs and the black professional teams. And I suppose some of the scouts was out watching those teams also. And according to what they say, Ricky was interested in uh, bringing about some changes, and through his scouting reports and everything, they finally selected Jack in 1946. That year, he played for the Montreal Royals. The Royals won the International League pennant and the Little World Series that year, and Robinson led the league in every aspect of the game. Robinson was chosen from among a galaxy of black baseball stars. Chosen by Ricky as much for his character as for his ability to play big league ball. Both men knew that the opportunity for other black players to enter the league was riding on Robinson's success or failure. After spending the year of 1946 in the Dodgers minor league system, Jackie was called up to the majors and played his first game April 15, 1947. The entire burden of the black athlete's future rested solidly on Jackie's shoulder. Jackie Robinson demonstrated the essence of championship ability, a personal sense of style and grace, and an implacable determination to overcome all odds against him. Robinson's first season with the Dodgers in 1947 is magnificent. He leads the team in home runs, stolen bases, and runs scored. The Dodgers win the National League pennant that year and Jackie Robinson is named National League Rookie of the Year. Don Newcomb and Roy Campanella soon follow Robinson into the Dodger fold, and dozens of other black players are signed to Major League teams. With this infusion of championship blood, the Dodgers win the World Series for the first time in 1955. An eyewitness to the times reporter Les Matthews covered Robinson's historic break into the big leagues. For the first year, it was bothered a lot by a lot of racial slurs and, and um, even some of his teammates didn't want to play with him, but he conquered them. And he conquered the fans too with his ability to play and display his skill on the playing field. When Jackie signed with the Dodgers, it was a big change. The black leagues disappeared, and the major leagues, they took all the customers. Eversfield had a sellout day almost every day with Jackie played. And Jackie showed the fans that he can play. He did everything on the bases. He ran the bases. He would make the um, other team throw the ball away. He was an amazing man, on the field or off the field. I think Jackie Robinson stands out above all the qualities that make a champion. He had everything. Black athletes in all sports will forever owe a debt of gratitude to Jackie. 